everyone and a very warm welcome back to my channel. Oh, hello if you are new here and joining me for the first time, my name is Lydia and today I am really excited because I am sharing my first Karen Millen YouTube video. So if you follow me on Instagram, it's at Lydia Jane Tomlinson if you don't, you'll know that I've had a long-standing partnership with Karen Millen. I've done a recent edit for their site, um, my kind of curated pics from across their site, so I did that quite recently. Um, but I've never done a YouTube video with Karen Millen. So I'm really excited that in today's video I'm working with Karen Millen and getting to show you some really good pieces. I feel like as soon as I put them on the rail, I was like, yes, these pieces work so well together. They're very kind of looks, autumnal feeling, cosy pieces that you can kind of get dressed up a little bit with. I've got some great coats to show you. Um, so as usual, I'll be chatting you through the pieces, how I think you can work these into your wardrobe, why I think you can style them in plenty of different ways. I'm excited to share. I'm actually going to begin with coats. I've got a couple of coats I've got three coats to show you um, and they're all really great pieces. I love this for the colour. I thought I've got nothing like this in my wardrobe and I really feel that in autumn, winter, if you invest your money anywhere, it's going to be coats or boots because let's face it, that's what most people see when you're out and about. You're going out for a day of shopping, all you see is the coat. So to have really nice coat selection, I think is kind of crucial for the season. I've gone for this dark, it's like a very dark raspberry shade, um, maybe a little bit more purpley than that. It's kind of a cross between a wine and a raspberry, but it's just so beautiful. I love that it's got the tie here, which you could take on and off to kind of create different looks. And I like that the neckline isn't too bulky because uh, I don't know about you, but I often wear high neck things or shirts in the season. Um, so to have a neck that isn't too bulky is quite a, a nice change and it means that I can wear those high necks with it. This is a wool blend as well, so I feel like it really will last you and keep you nice and warm too. I feel like this is going to be paired so nicely um, with tonal shades. I've got a few now. I feel like I'm branching out a little bit into some slight variations of colour, but I have got a few pieces that fit this bill fall down a bit of a kind of brown, warm, rich tone and I really feel like pairing all those together creates a really good look and it's just such a nice change from pairing with black. Although I do think it goes with black, um, I think to pair it tonally just um, would bring something really new to the look. You could wear this with browns, I think it would look really chic with navy and you could wear it for workwear as well. It's like a nice smart coat so I really feel like you get a lot of wear out of this. So my next piece I am obsessed with, it's called a country check and you can obviously see why. It's this tiny, tiny house shoe print and the colours in this are so nice. When you actually come up close, I'll bring it closer so you can see. So we've got an olive shade, brown, black and beige and brought all together, it just works so beautifully. And because it's got all of these shades in, you could really pick out any of these shades to pair it with. Um, so I feel like it would be so versatile in your winter wardrobe. Not only that, but it would pair really nicely with denim. And I think you could even, although gray isn't necessarily in the coat, I think you could even wear it with gray. So a really versatile piece, despite it being checked, I think it really works. And it's got this beautiful belt detail. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of this slightly more equestrian style. I've mentioned this in previous videos. Um, but a little nod to the equestrian, I think we'll be seeing a lot of this new season. And the belt just gives it that little um, country nod. And I just think it's so chic. But also in the city with a pair of really chic boots. Um, and I think you could definitely dress this down too with some trainers. And I think you could even wear this with like a knitted jogger set and use this to style and smarten it up. So really, really great piece. And I love that it's slightly blazer-esque as well. So finally for coats, we've got this bigger print here. And again, I just think this is so nice because if you're looking for a coat that's a little bit different, but still very workable and wearable, then this is a great piece. It makes a statement, but like I say, still really versatile with the rest of your wardrobe. And again, you could pick up on all of the colours within this coat, um, pick them all out and wear them so you can create different looks. I love this little PU collar um, around 
on top just kind of elevates it and gives it that little bit something more special and yeah the colours in this are so chic I feel like this will come back year after year it's quite timeless even though it's a little bit of a bolder style of coat um, and again it's a slight blazer feel which gives it an element of structure and definitely would allow you to wear it for work um, I think I could even see this kind of styled up if you're sat inside the office and they're a little bit cold uh, don't want to take your coat off I think you could just make this work uh, for also being inside so really pretty piece I would probably wear with a white shirt underneath a black polo neck more of a casual relaxed t-shirt to dress it down pair of jeans and trainers um, but I do think it's quite a flexible piece so moving on to bottoms and this skirt is just so fabulous um, I feel like you all know that I love a leather midi skirt um, I have a couple of variations but I've got nothing quite like this I just think this is so fab I think you could wear it from now right through even to the party season dressed up with a pair of heels or a pair of uh, heeled boots, a chunky knit or a really nice blouse. I feel like this will work for so many occasions and what I love about this, I think there's so much black leather around isn't there which I personally love but it's nice to have something a little bit different and this is this kind of chocolatey, almost burgundy um, colour and the shape of it, I love that it's this like wrap shape but also it's pleated so it really crosses a few boundaries of different skirt shapes I love this very pale gold buckle on here again I just feel like this really elevates it I can't rave about this piece enough I just think it's absolutely stunning it will go with pretty much most of the things on the rail and I just really can't wait to style this up change my looks around um, throughout the next season I just think it's such a gorgeous and wearable piece. I think you could definitely wear this in the daytime as workwear perfection. So something um, I think maybe people don't always associate with Karen Millen are really good basics. I have so many of their basic tops, trousers like this, they just do really good staples um, and these kind of jeans are included in that. They're just like a straight leg, straight fit. I actually think I maybe could have gone down a size because they're not really really tight and skinny so um, I actually went for the 10 because sometimes in denim I like to go a little bit more oversized but with these um, I think you could go for your normal size. But I just feel like a classic pair of jeans like this that feel good quality, they're a great fit. What I love about these is they're not a real dark wash but they're not a light wash either and I just think this is so nice for this time of year and throughout the season. I mean these are kind of a forever pair of jeans. And the other trousers are these ones. Um, you can't see them here, but obviously there will be the cutaways showing the close-ups of them. But these are these kind of coated, style, skinny trousers, which again, I just feel like are such a staple come this season. I feel like if you scroll back through my Instagram, you'll have seen me wearing this kind of thing over and over again. So if you don't have a pair like this, I think now is the time to invest in them because I think you'll find that they're a really useful piece in your autumn wardrobe and just so many ways to wear. I couldn't even begin to list the ways to wear, but they would go with everything I have here. On to tops, and I'm really excited um, because Karen Miller have brought out all these kind of tabard style tops, which I am loving. I feel like I've, I've loved these for years and they're definitely a piece that always comes back year after year, but I personally have always had an affiliation for them and I think now more than ever they're definitely in the spotlight. So I love this one um, for a few different reasons actually. I think for one it looks really expensive. It just looks I think very very luxe, great quality. The shape, um, I love that the sleeves kind of come out a little bit into more of a cap sleeve which is obviously very contemporary. Um, I love the high neck on this. I think the high neck with the short sleeves really makes this piece. Um, I love that it's quite oversized and wide. It's got the split at the back with the bow detail and I would definitely be wearing this under lots of different kinds of shirts um, or even just simple long sleeve tops in different shades. And I personally am always freezing in the winter, no matter how warm somewhere is. I'm guaranteed to be always freezing and these pieces 
just provide that extra little layer. You could have another jumper underneath this um, and just gives that extra layer of warmth that I personally really need. Maybe that's why I love them so much. Um, but yeah, I just think it's such a nice piece and it's in this like oatmeal shade, which again, goes with so many different things. So two of their other tops that I'm wearing, because obviously I was talking about these tabard pieces, and I think this uh, cardigan kind of fits into that style. Again, it's got these really modern kind of cap sleeve. I just feel like this feels really fresh. And again, it just keeps you a little bit cozier. Um, having that extra knitted layer on over the top for me is so beneficial. But again, with the shape, I think they've got a kind of spot on with the shape. They've got the big pockets. They've got the slightly oversized feel, but the kind of shape of the sleeves just feels on trend um, without it being too try hard. You could wear this in lots of different ways. I think these would be so useful in more of a work environment. Maybe you start the day off quite chilly and then it warms up a little bit and it's nice to just have this layer to take on and off. I think even at the weekend, just with a pair of trainers, a shirt like this, another jumper, there are lots of different ways you can wear it. And I think, again, just like the jumper, a really useful piece in your wardrobe. So what I'm trying to do this season is branch out a little bit more from the neutral colours and the blacks. Don't get me wrong, I'll still be wearing them. But I just wanted to go for other earthier, muted tones and branch out into that. So things like navy, kind of these wine shades, olives, um, and I just love this jumper so much that I couldn't resist. They've got some really great knitwear on their site at the minute. Um, and it's similar to this in the gold detail buttons, just kind of gives it a little bit of something extra. And for me, a navy oversized round neck knit is one of the ultimate staples for this time of year. Again, so many ways to wear it. I think with it being navy, it just feels so chic. I feel, I get sort of Parisian chic vibes whenever I wear navy. And personally, I love navy and black together. I always think blacks work better paired with muted, darker tones like these, light gray, as opposed to a really bright color. So um, I would definitely be pairing these with the black skinny trousers that I've got on now, with the jeans, actually even, I think these two colours would go so nicely together. The navy in this kind of chocolatey burgundy shade just is such a dream colour combination. And this to me is a staple that you'll be pulling back year after year. I think if you've followed me for a while, you know I'm all about investing in those really wearable pieces. Not those pieces that you'll just wear once, but I think everything on the rail uh, are things that not only can you actually mix and match together, but that you'll be able to fit seamlessly into your wardrobe and really make them work year after year. So let's talk about this piece because this to me is what every person should have in their wardrobe come this season. A black roll neck jumper I have lived in since I was young. They're just such a useful piece and if you don't have one you need to invest in one because it'll bring so many different pieces together. I always gravitate towards these even for the evening times at this time of year with a red lip and great jewellery. It just looks so chic and elegant, not too try hard. And this one is extra special because it is cashmere. So I think, like me, if you're someone who you'll know you'll wear something like this time and time again, it's worth investing in that quality um, that you know will stand the test of time but also feels so lovely too. I think I got this in a medium, so I would suggest going up on these. I don't like to have these too clingy. There are so many ways to wear this. Like I say, it's an absolute staple to have in your autumn winter wardrobe. So like I was saying before, um, I really wanted to highlight the great basics that Karen Millen do. So that's why I went for this classic white t-shirt. And I think you can see from this that it's a really, really great shape. I do not like clingy or fitted white t-shirts. They don't work for me. And I also don't like it. I'll come closer so you can see what I mean. I also don't like it when they have a really thick band around the neckline. This has just got a nice, normal size band. I sized up to a 12 in this, again, to give it that extra kind of boxy feel. A white t-shirt for me is an all year round basic. I love just layering it in the autumn and I think 
styled up again in the evening with a jacket over the top with underneath one of these kind of blazer jackets such a wearable versatile piece and they instantly make everything i think look a little bit cooler finally for tops we have this wool polo neck jumper and this is kind of in a similar shade to the first coat and like i was mentioning before that tonal dressing element would work so well here these two shades layered on top of each other it just feels i think so luxurious and with the skirt too i think it would pair so nicely but definitely this worn tonally like i said i'm trying to branch out a little bit more into different shades and tones and these kind of rich earthy colors um, and this definitely feels so autumnal to me this is kind of the color that epitomizes autumn it's such a nice piece so speaking of that colour, I obviously have a little bit of a soft spot for it at the minute. I got these shoes. So these are these pointed burgundy slip-ons and I think this style with it being a little bit more pointed just feels so modern and on trend that I think there's many times when I could do with something um, that's just a simple ballet flat but maybe a little bit more of an edge to it, a little bit something different. Um, say for example, wearing those stirrup leggings, um, I think sometimes with the traditional style of ballet flat, they can look a little bit, I don't know, I just feel like the, the styles don't quite work together, but I think worn with something more modern like these really works. So there are times that I kind of feel like I could do with some of these types of shoes. And again, I went for this colour because I want to start branching out a little bit, but just so nice with a pair of denim, a simple t-shirt and a nice coat. Just such a chic, easy look. Um, and again, they'll go with so much on this rail from everything from these lighter beige tones to navies to greys. Um, and just something a bit different. If you're someone who always goes for black flats or beige flats, just think about going for these for a change. Um, and I think they will really kind of open up your wardrobe a little bit more to new ideas. And finally, I actually don't have a pair of shoes like this. There are heels pointed court shoe and these are these not just the most staple kind of shoes that everyone should own and um, so i thought now is the time they feel really grown up sophisticated but i would love to kind of dress them down a little bit more again paired with the t-shirt or a relaxed oversized knit and some skinny trousers and just make them feel really contemporary but i think Everyone could do with a pair of heels like this in their wardrobe, just to have on standby. I, there's many a time where I felt like a shoe like this would fit the outfit and I don't have one. So now, a classic black shoe like this, you can't go wrong. And I'm actually loving the shoes Karen Millen are doing at the moment. They've got some great boots online as well, so definitely make sure to check those out. So I hope you found this video useful. I've really, really enjoyed sharing these pieces with you and I'm looking forward to integrating them into the rest of my wardrobe. I'm sure you'll be seeing them pop up all the time over on my Instagram, in my reels, in other YouTube styling videos because I think there's some real good pieces that will integrate well into the rest of my wardrobe. So give me a thumbs up if you did like it. I'd love to know your favourite pieces in the comments below and let me know if you're thinking of buying any of these because I think there are some real winners in this collection. So thank you so much to Karen Millen for sponsoring this video. I always love working with them and sharing the pieces. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.